25,000 adverse births occur in Illinois every year. One in 10 babies are born preterm, and one in 12 babies are born low birth weight. Our team at Data Science for Social Good is working with the Illinois Department of Human Services to predict and reduce adverse births across the state. Now, what exactly is an adverse birth? An adverse birth, by our definition, is if you were born too early, too small, ended up in the neonatal intensive care unit, or died within your first year of life. Adverse births can affect infants throughout their lives. By predisposing them to chronic, dis chronic diseases and also impairing cognitive function. IDHS has recognized the importance of improving birth outcomes in Illinois, and in 2013, they implemented Better Birth Outcomes, or BBO, which is an intensive case management program for eligible at risk pregnant women. Program participants are assigned an experienced caseworker who provides monthly support and directs them to the appropriate resources throughout their pregnancy. Now, IDHS can only offer BBO services to 2,000 women at any given time. Our project this summer focused on making sure that these 2,000 women truly represented the most at-risk population in Illinois. Current BBO clinic locations were determined in 2013 based on a map of county preterm birth rates. We're improving upon this by first expanding the definition of adverse birth to include low birth weight, neonatal intensive care, and infant mortality. Second, the data we're using is much more current, going through 2015. Finally, we're mapping adverse births at the census tract level, which is much more granular than at the county level. In doing so, we highlight mismatches between current clinic locations and clusters of adverse births. We believe that this will help IDHS achieve a better understanding of where the highest need areas are so that they can deliver BBO to the areas that will benefit the most. Once IDHS figures out where the most at-risk women are located, they have to figure out at the individual level which woman to offer the program to. Currently, they use a 17-question evidence-based assessment that contains risk factors such as substance abuse during pregnancy or whether a woman had a previous preterm birth. Now, not all of these factors are equally predictive. So we're using data science and predictive modeling to measure the impact each question has on the likelihood of an adverse birth. We use the importance of each item to reweight the assessment accordingly. This will provide caseworkers with a more individualized risk continuum on which to place pregnant women and to determine BBO eligibility. We estimate that our approach can be up to 1.5 times as accurate as the current strategy. In order to make our models easy to use, we're developing a web application that will allow them to easily interface with the output of our project. With our help, IDHS is working to ensure that the women who need BBO the most are getting it, so that no mother or baby has to suffer the consequences of an adverse birth. Thank you.